Hello and welcome to the product demonstration of WooCommerce Connector powered by KSOLS. We will see all the fundamental features of the WooCommerce Connector and how to install it. To make our WooCommerce Connector work, we need to keep in mind that we do install the Udo Base Connector app first and then install the WooCommerce Connector app. As the WooCommerce Connector app is totally dependent on the Udo Base Connector. So, the base connector can be installed simply by clicking on the install button. And then we need to search for the WooCommerce connector app in the Udo app store and install it in the same way. It will take a short while to get installed. As we know that WooCommerce is an e-commerce plugin, which is available for free by WordPress and is being used to maintain an online shopping store to operate for selling, preparing for orders, managing and handling deliverables, receiving payments, creation of invoices, and so on. Basically for your enterprise resource management work, which is associated with any e-commerce platform, is easily done by the WooCommerce. Now, let's talk about what makes a WooCommerce connector so special. Suppose, we already use Udo in our backend process as an ERP for some operations. We might notice that as an ERP, Udo performs the same operations as the WooCommerce does. So you have to use them separately over the WooCommerce first and then on the Udo in order to avoid maintaining the data on different platforms. WooCommerce connector provides you the option of merging the data. Once processed on the either side Udo or WooCommerce, you will be able to sync that particular data with the other platform that saves your time and reprocessing the data all over again. So this is how the UI of a WooCommerce connector looks like. It has a simple interactive dashboard, which shows you some bar charts and shows you one equivalent convertible line graph as well. This basically tells you how much data you have synced either to the WooCommerce or from the WooCommerce. Now let's see creating an instance on a WooCommerce. One of the basic fundamentals of WooCommerce is an instance. Let's find out how to create an instance of WooCommerce. An instance of a WooCommerce is basically equivalent to a store. As I have this WooCommerce demo server here, I have created my own store and now I can use this to sell any of these products I feel like. So connecting this store to my Udo will require creation of an instance. Creation of an instance can be directly handled by this unique button over here or from the top menu over here. Let's create an instance now. For this, you need to hit this create button and a short screen will pop up. Here, you need to give a name to your instance. For example, I have given it instance underscore DEV. Now, I have to give the URL of the store, customer key and customer secret. These are the three mandatory values which will link my WooCommerce instance to the WooCommerce server, which I own. I have entered the store URL and the key, and here goes the secret. Once all these three credentials are entered and saved, we will be able to connect our instance to the WooCommerce server with the same URL we have provided while creating the instance. We will click on this connect instance button and a confirmation message will just pop up. Once you close the pop-up, you will see a yellow banner over here showing that our instance is now connected. So that's how we create an instance of the WooCommerce.